Hey riders, how you doing? It's a ride home review. Actually, uh, I'm in my kitchen um, on headphones, something different, not in the car. But as you all know, as I mentioned last week, um, that I'm due for a recap. So I'm just going to recap the, the movies that I saw uh, from the last couple months and what I thought were the best and well, what really stood out to me in the different categories that I like to cover. So the movies that um, I saw the last couple months were uh, The Shape of Water, uh, Darkest Hour, The Post, I, Tanya, Hostiles, Lady Bird, Black Panther, and Annihilation, wrapping up those uh, those movies that I saw. And as you know, at this point in time, you've already found out that The Shape of Water won the Oscar for Best Picture and Guillermo del Toro won uh, uh, Best Director. Um, however, the Oscars are not on the same same wavelength as the Ride Home Reviews um, in, in that time frame because last year our Ride Home Review Best Picture was uh, Get Out which went head to head with The Shape of Water this year. Now, I'm not going to dispute that. In fact, in this, in this first part or in this first uh, uh, recap, I'm going to have to agree with the fact that Guillermo del Toro cleaned house in this. Uh, Shape of Water was the best movie I saw this last couple months, and he did a wonderful job in that regard uh, for uh, best director. Now, the best... Uh, the best actor, of course, I'm going to have to, you know, that's my pick as Gary Oldman for Darkest Hour. He was phenomenal in that movie. If, I mean, the movie is okay, but he is just awesome. So I'm going to pick that. Um, so that he also won Best Actor Oscar for that. Um, but the best actress in this, in this uh, first recap, I'm going to pick I Tanya, or, uh, excuse me, Margot Robbie for I Tanya. She was just fabulous in that film. And so that's where I see that, that happening um, with Margot Robbie. Uh, uh, best Supporting Actor? Um, well, I would have to go with uh, Mr. Michael B. Jordan in, in uh, The Black Panther. Fabulous villain. Well done. So on and so forth. It was just great. And uh, so, um, and the Best Supporting Actress I'm going to give to... Uh, Alice and Janney won for I, Tanya, but I really have to look at Laurie Metcalf in Lady Bird. I thought uh, they went head-to-head, -head, and I really like Laurie Metcalf a little bit more um, in Lady Bird than I did Alice and Janney in I, Tanya. So, best cinematography, once again, um, I'm going to have to go with Shape of Water. Shape of Water was fabulous. Um, uh, so, and uh, best editing, I would have to... Um, have that fall on to the Black Panther as well as giving them best ensemble cast. Um, that cast was fabulous. Uh, it was just uh, awesome. And the reason why, um, and also some of the other movies uh, that didn't do so well, I mean, they were okay. Hostiles, okay movie, not great. Um, there was really some key things in there that I didn't care for. Check out my review on that. The Post uh, had a great cast, but it just didn't seem like there was much effort alongside that. So that's why I didn't really uh, choose that. And like I said, I felt The Darkest Hour was not a strong movie. And I don't know how Darkest Hour in The Post actually, uh, uh, sorry about that, um, got nominated for Best Picture. I figured I, Tanya might be able to be thrown in as Best Picture. But as for worst worst video, or excuse me, worst movie of this, of this first uh, part of the year, Annihilation. Really disappointing, especially from Alex Garland. Um, very disappointing, dry, uh, no character development. Check out my review on that. I think I was a little bit easier on it than I thought so afterwards. So there you have it. Those are my picks for the, that's my recap for this uh, first part of 2018. So as always, follow us on uh, Instagram, like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube. And until next time, see something cool. Talk to you soon. Bye.